Good morning, Tigers. Yesterday, in your sight word reading and writing journal, you should have read and highlighted the sight word C. I can spell C S E E. Okay, so if you point underneath each word and read it, I see a pig. Then you just highlight the sight word C. Okay, I got a lot of these turned in, so great job reading your sight words. Now, the focus strategy for our reading this week is using pictures to help us sound out words. So, if I'm not sure what this word is, or I can use the picture to tell me. Today, for sight words, I want you to write some sentences using the sight word C. Now, they don't have to be these exact sentences that are in this story. If you don't see a pig or a horse or a cow or a frog or a rabbit or a cat or a dog, you don't have to write those sentences. Now, if you do see a cat or a dog at your house, maybe, then you can write that. I am at school, so I don't see a pig or a horse or a cat or a dog or anything like that. So I'm going to write what I do see. Today when we're writing our sentences, I want you to think about using a space in between your words. So I'm going to start with, I see a book. I like to think about my sentence first before I start writing it. I see a book. If I want to help my brain remember what word, what sentence I'm going to write, I can even give myself some lines like this. I can say it out loud. I see a book. Okay. Did you notice that I left a little bit of space in between each of those lines? That's to tell me what where my finger space is going to go. So I'm going to write, I see a book. And then I'll know my sentence is done when I put a period at the end. Now what else do you think I might see in the classroom? Oh, well, right here, I see a pencil. So let me think about how I want to write that. And I'm going to write, I see a pencil. Now, I have been writing for a long time, so I kind of know how much space to leave in between my words. If you're not sure, then let me show you a trick. I now this is my writing hand. With your other hand, you can put a finger space in between your words. That will help you remember, see. Okay, now move your finger. A, move your finger again, it's a new word, pencil. Now I want you to look around your house and tell me what you see and write a few sentences, I see A. Now, you don't have to write every single line on this page. You can if you want to, but if you just want to write maybe three or four sentences, that is okay too. Tomorrow, you guys are going to work on the sight word A. I bet this one will be pretty easy for you because you've already learned the sight word I, you just learned the sight word C, and now you're working on the sight word A. So you're going to use the picture, your eagle eye, to help you with each of these words that if you get stuck. 